Hey guys, this is a presentation for people who are going to use PowerPoint. Um, I know some of you don't have PowerPoint on your laptops. It's not easy for you to access PowerPoint. But if you do have PowerPoint, it's really easy to make charts there, so I want to show you. Of course, if you were in class today, then this is something that you should already know how to do. I also want to tell you that I have a Mac, so everything I'm showing you is on a Mac. And if you don't have a Mac, PowerPoint looks a little bit different. Most of the stuff is the same, but if you have a PC, it's going to be a little bit different. So the first thing is you open PowerPoint, and you can choose whatever template you want to. Um, let's choose something simple. This one's good. Okay, so we'll choose that. Again, call your presentation whatever you want to. My presentation, Ashley Green. Let's do a new slide. Um, we'll do title and content. Okay, you have lots of options. One of the things you can do right here in PowerPoint is insert a chart, or you can go up here and you usually have a chart option. But I'll click from here. Okay, now when you do that, you get this menu and it gives you lots of different chart options. You can do any kind of chart you want, but be smart. Okay, obviously for the questions that you asked, some kinds of charts are better than others. I think probably column charts and pie charts are the best ones for the kinds of questions that you ask. So let's do a pie chart. And you can see there are even options within the pie charts. You can do whatever you want to, but I'll just do the easy one. Okay, when you click on pie chart, it's going to open the chart in Excel, and you get something that looks like this. In essence, Microsoft has kind of created a chart for you with some information so now you have to go in and change it where it says sales you write the question so if your question was have you ever been to China that's where you write it then your answers you write here in the a column so you write yes and no and then just delete these two rows Okay, you can always add rows if you have more than one, if you have more than four answers. But you can just go here, you right click, and then you just delete table rows and get rid of those. And then you put whatever the numbers are. So if the answer for yes, there were nine people who said yes, and 41 people who said no, then that's what you do. And if you see here, it says to update the chart, enter data into this table, the data is automatically saved. So once you do this, it's saved. If you go back to PowerPoint, there's your chart right there. You can move the chart around. You can change the colors if you want to. They have different chart styles here. Um, if you go to chart layout, you can change certain things. If you go to format, like fill, you could change the colors if you don't like those colors. Um, there's lots of different stuff that you can do. Um, but one of the things I do want to show you, if you go to charts, you have these options here, quick layouts, and one of them, it looks like this. And you see how now it doesn't just say yes and no, but it also tells you the percentages. Um, you can get it written like that. You can get it back to its original way. You could get the numbers, so yes, 9, no, 41. You can do that any way you want to, but I think for you, when you're making the presentation, it will probably be easier if you have the numbers in there. You know, if you have this, you might forget how many people said yes and how many people said no. But if you did it like this, then it would be easy to say nine people said yes and 41 people said no. So it probably would be a little bit easier for you. This is super, super easy on PowerPoint. It shouldn't be hard at all. And like I said, I do have a Mac, so I think it's a little bit different on a PC, but it shouldn't be too different. But again, if you have any questions, let me know.